The city of Crosby is preparing itself in the event tragedy strikes. A training exercise this past week simulated a real shooting, and our Anthony Scott was there to see it unfold. We want to be clear, what you're about to see is a training exercise designed to simulate a real shooting in the school. We need help! Help us! Terror, distress, and adrenaline pumped through local law enforcement on Saturday as they took part in an active shooter training course at Crosby Ironton High School. None of us ever want something like this to happen, but we want if it does happen, we want to make sure that we're prepared to deal with it. The day started with an educational course about active shootings, and then a real scenario was set up for first responders, law enforcement, and EMS personnel to respond to. We needed to step our game up a little bit and create a more realistic situation. And they did. Students were spread across the cafeteria and had makeup to portray real bullet wounds. And the active shooter was even firing blanks to have authentic sounds. It may have looked like a gruesome scene here in the cafeteria, but it was all to ensure that police and fire departments had the realest experience possible. When guys get into that, they can learn that they can push past that adrenaline dump, even knowing this isn't a real situation. It causes that body, that physiological reaction. Mm -hmm. So they get used to that, so they know they can conquer it no matter what they're doing in their job. This was very realistic and very well attended, and uh, I think a lot of people took away quite a bit from this. Law enforcement worked quickly as all of the victims were evacuated in 20 minutes, and the scene was entirely clear in 45. For the time period and the limited amount of resources we had for today, it's an outstanding time. It's something you wouldn't expect for what we had. One challenge for first responders was that they had to look past the victims when they initially arrived on the scene. Officers are wired that we are we are helpful, we're protect for, protectors. That is what we are supposed to do. And to run past a victim who's calling for help, especially in this situation where they're kids, mm -hmm. it tears at your heart and you have to push past it because your job as a responder is to stop that threat before we can start treating. This was the first active shooter drill since the school opened in 2005, and some people want to see this expanded even more. I think it's a good eye-opener for all of our emergency responders, our school. Um, I would like to see them do it actually during the school week when school is open. Are we taking the right step in the right direction? Yes. Most definitely, yes. You hope that you never have to deal with an active shooter, but it's good to know that your town is at least prepared. Reporting from Crosby, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News. Cuyuna Regional Medical Center and local law enforcement plan to hold another active shooter drill next year. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.